Hey guys, Garage Dad here with a side-by-side -side long term review of both the Honda HRX line and the HRR line. I've got the HRX 217 and the HRR 216. I've gotten to know both pretty well. Both are great mowers. Both start up beautifully just like you would expect from a Honda lawnmower on the first pull every time. They've got their pros and cons. Naturally, the HRX line is the more premium, more expensive model with the bigger engine, while the HRR line is a more entry level. They're great mowers. I like them a lot. I have to say, uh, contrary to what I thought, most people should probably buy the HRR. I prefer the HRX for my specific lawn, but if it wasn't for the uniqueness of my lawn, I would be more than happy with the HRR, and I think most people would be more than satisfied with the HRR and that's all they need and I'll explain why. I'll start with the basic specifications. To start off, the HRX 217 has a 190cc engine which puts out 5.1 horsepower and 8.3 foot-pounds of torque. That's compared to the HRR line with its 160cc engine which puts out 4.4 horsepower and 6.9 found, uh, sorry, foot-pounds of torque. So it's about, it's a significant uh, increase in power. Uh, it's substantial. But what's interesting is because of this next tight, essentially plastic deck that the HRX line has, uh, the weight difference between these two mowers is only four pounds. The HRR line is uh, 84 pounds, while the HRX is 88 pounds. Uh, they, I think that the, the next tight deck is a bit of a gimmick, if you ask me. I think it's great that it's so strong and, and advanced in its materials. Nothing wrong with that, but I don't think most people end up having issues with their lawnmower based on the deck. I think that other things go wrong or it makes sense to upgrade long before your deck ever becomes an issue. Maybe if you're hoping to park your mower outside or maybe if you live near the ocean and it's just a more corrosive, salty climate, maybe that matters. I don't know. Uh, this deck is three years old and it's in perfect condition. Um, it's kept in a shed, but it's not really protected otherwise. Um, the, the plastic deck just allows them to essentially make it lighter and make it not a much heavier machine despite the bigger engine. Uh, and they're both 21 inch mowers. They both have the same exact cutting path. I would have really liked to see the HRX line just be a little bigger, even an extra inch or two or three would have been amazing. If they did that, in my mind, it would be a no brainer that the HRX is the mower you should get. But since they're both 21 inch mowers, to be honest, I really think most people would be better off saving the money, the couple hundred dollars, and getting the HRR line. It cuts beautifully. I've never had an issue with it getting bogged down with the 160cc engine. And uh, as you can see, I let my grass go, grow pretty long sometimes. Uh, never had an issue. I always mulch. I never use the bag. Um, and it's performed great. Uh, I've only done the most basic maintenance of changing the air filter once a year and changing the oil once a year. And it starts right up on the first pull every time. It's a great machine and I'd recommend it to anybody. The only reason why I'm leaning towards keeping the HRX myself and why I think it's the right one for me, honestly, is the wheels. The engine's a little bigger, sure, that's nice. It is nice to have a little more power. There are those times where maybe you don't want to, uh, you know, worry about the, the level of power and you want to just maybe go up a hill and uh, faster than you might on the HRR, whereas um, uh, the HRR, you might have to go a little slowly over certain spots every now and then in tall grass or uphill. Maybe the HRX will, will prevent you from having to do that very often, but I, I haven't noticed that big of a difference in power. The HRR doesn't feel underpowered after using the HRX. Uh, the big difference to me and what matters for my property, because I have a big slope and I have a lot of exposed uh, tree roots, is the wheels. So the HRX has a wheel that is one inch bigger. I believe that the HRR's wheels are eight inches while these are nine, and that's great. A slightly bigger wheel is, is, is nice, even though it's only an inch. But the biggest factor is the material. This plastic here on the HRR line, is it's a hard plastic. It works just fine all the time for normal conditions. If you have a flat lawn, if you have a square flat lawn in your backyard and that's what you're using this for, you will never have an issue with these wheels. But if you're going uphill in wet conditions or um, over exposed roots like I sometimes am, uh, like I am, these wheels are a little better. They're bigger, they have, I think, a better tread, uh, just based on the feel of it, and also the plastic has a little more give. It's a little more uh, just rubbery, I guess. 
Um, maybe maybe uh, over time it'll harden a little, but this thing is just rock hard. It is just a hard plastic wheel, whereas this has a little give to it. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether this hardens over time, but I don't remember this being particularly soft when it was new. So the wheels instantly stood out to me. I really like also the numbers here on the wheel adjustment. It just helps you kind of, instead of having to count or eyeball it, just know where the wheels stand, except wait, they didn't really do it all the way around. They only have it on the front of the wheels where you'll see the mower uh, in the store on display. They don't have it in the back. And I think that's a major omission. I think that that's a nice feature to have. And if you're going to put it on there on the front, you might as well put it on there in the back. But they don't. And so on the back, just like on the HRR line, you're going to have to count and try to figure out where it is and hope that you have them even. Uh, I think it's a big miss. I think that it's just kind of silly for a more expensive mower that they didn't have it, especially when they went and put, it, put that sticker on the front. It's just a sticker. Of course, yes, you can go there with a Sharpie and maybe number them if you like, but I just feel like it's a little silly and a missed opportunity. Otherwise, these mowers perform the same. The other big feature that maybe some people will care about, like I said, I only bag, so, I mean, I only mulch, so I don't, is this ability on the HRX line to kind of uh, choose how much you want to mulch and how much you want to bag. You can choose to kind of do a half-half or, you know, 60-40 or whatever you're trying to do. Maybe if, um, I can see myself using that if I'm going over leaves in the fall and maybe I want to bag half of them. I, maybe it's uh, too much leaves going on to just mulch them all, uh, but I still want to take advantage of the mulching. Maybe I can see myself using it there. But otherwise, um, not something that I'm going to use very much, but definitely a factor. And so if, if that's something that matters to you, you can only get that on the HRX line. So that's one big difference. While the HRR line only has the option to mulch or direct it to the bag. There is technically a rear discharge instead of a side discharge, which is put it on the bag setting and don't use the bag. I've never used that. I've always mulched. Both of these mowers have twin blades and uh, they mulch very nicely. Never had an issue. So uh, I don't even use the bags. Um, don't even know where they are anymore. When it comes to the drive systems, another reason why I would say most people are better off with the HRR line is I honestly greatly prefer this drive system. They're both fine. I mean, they're both self-driving, but I greatly prefer this self-drive system. I find it much easier to use on varied terrain. Um, this system here, I guess, is technically the better one. They're advertising it as their better one, where you can kind of select a, uh, a drive speed and then engage it. And I guess if you were just mowing a football field and it was a big flat square and you were trying to keep at a constant pace, I think that's helpful. I don't think that's how it pans out in reality for most people. I think that there are times when you're going uphill, there's times when you're going downhill, there's times where you want to gradually slow down over certain types of grass or uh, certain piles of leaves, and this thing makes it harder to do that. Um, for me, for example, when I'm using the HRR, when you're going to get started to go up a hill, you can, you can give it a lot, and then immediately once it gets started, you know, you can let go and, um, and, and, and ease up and go slow if you want to. If you want to do that on the HRX, sometimes it's not going to have enough power to go up a hill to get started if you have it going relatively slow like I normally do. I tend to go slow. Uh, I tend to mulch. Um, I don't know who in the world would ever use these higher settings. I mean, you would literally be running after it. Uh, I find myself using this kind of low to mid range. And I find that when I'm trying to then go up a hill, um, it's sometimes a problem because if I've got it in the low range because that's where I'm comfortable mowing for what I'm doing and I want to get started going up a hill it's not going to be enough power when I when I give it this you know when I engage this lever and I'm going to either then need to give it a push and get it started manually which defeats the purpose or I'm going to need to go adjust this do that and then once it gets going adjust it again and do it again I actually do not like this drive system I'm happy with the mower overall I'm not unhappy with the drive system I'm certainly happy that it drives itself that I don't have to push it all the time but I do think that this smart drive control is actually better than the select drive, which is advertised as the better one. The smart drive, you can adjust it to be whatever kind of position fits your thumbs and palms um, comfortably, and you can uh, simply give it a little, give it a lot, and I just feel like the way most people mow, you're probably going to want to vary it. And I've never found this to be tiring, I've never found this, I mean maybe if you have uh, hand problems of some sort, you, you would, but I have never found this to be tiring, I prefer this drive system. Otherwise. The HRX, yes, technically a better mower, um, but based on all of that, uh, I mean, the HRX has the better wheels, but based on all of that, I really think most people are better off with the HRR. Feel free to message me or comment if you have questions or, or specifics that you want me to address in future videos, but they're both great mowers. You can't go wrong either way. Most people should get the HRR, the cheaper one, 
uh, now you know what you're getting if you spring for the more expensive one. Thanks for watching. Might as well show you guys how easy it is to start these things up, uh, which is why I don't care about the blade stop feature. I don't think it's important unless you start and stop a lot. Uh, they always start on the first pull, uh, and so for me, the blade stop feature is just not necessary. just a closer look at both of them at some of the differences some of the features uh, to give you guys a better idea um, of, of how they compare the HRR mower has a less fancy wheel adjustment system. I mean, they both do the same thing. They both get the job done, but they are slightly different. If I tip these over for you uh, on their side, you'll get a better sense for how they look underneath, which is something that you can't really do in store or online. Uh, as you'll see, they're very similar. They're both the same size as far as cutting area. The HRX uh, has that plastic deck, so it looks a little better over time, although, uh, as you can see, the HRR doesn't exactly look bad. Um, there's no issues or, or rust on the HRR, but the HRX uh, will theoretically uh, be more durable over time with that plastic deck, uh, and it has that slight beefier looking blade that I don't think does anything different. Uh, I haven't noticed it. Maybe Honda would tell you it mulches better, um, but they're both very similar, both probably interchangeable and extremely easy to change them with just the two bolts. This is how the uh, smart drive controller works. Uh, as you can see, you can adjust it to any position that's comfortable, whereas on the select drive, it's just an on-off. There is no variability. Uh, you can change the speed with the dial, but you just press it. It's either engaged or disengaged, whereas the drive system on the HRR is a little more analog. You can kind of give it a little pressure or a lot of pressure, whatever feels more comfortable for you. On the HRR, you'll see that the the difference between bagging and mulching is just extreme. Um, this is the, the, the little trap door uh, that engages when you put the bag system or to discharge from where the bag would be. Uh, it's either all the way on or all the way off. Uh, and that's one slight feature that the HRX has that the HRR doesn't. Uh, as you can see, it's got all these notches where you can choose the level of mulching and maybe split it 50-50 or 60-40 like I was saying before in case you're interested in doing a combination of bagging and mulching for whatever reason. That other big difference, of course, is the wheels that I talked about earlier. As you can see, the wheels on the HRR are a little less nice, a little less aggressive, a little smaller uh, than the HRX. The HRX has that better wheel. Thank you guys for watching.